Can Gaza ever see peace? We hear much about Gaza today, but pro-Palestinians never mention the thousands of years of its history. Upon the conquest of the land of Canaan, Gaza is mentioned as one of the cities of the tribe of Judah, but also as part of the rest of the land that the people of Israel did not dispossess. Since the days of King David, while Gaza was being destroyed and rebuilt again and again, there was always a consistent Jewish presence there. From the Roman era, the Byzantine period, the Arab Muslim rule, the Mamluks reign, all the way to the Ottoman Empire, you would be able to find Jews living and praying in Gaza. Gaza's Arab population grew gradually during the modern era as migrants sought opportunities. The area lingered between Israeli and Egyptian control until it was finally handed to the Palestinian Authority in 1994. The winds of peace blew through Gaza with the Oslo Accords. Huge funds poured in for years in the hope of building the new Singapore of the Middle East. But did peace reach Gaza as a result? Not at all. Instead, Gaza turned into a hub of violence and terror. As Abba Ibn once said, the Palestinians never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. His words are still relevant today. Shortly after Israel withdrew from Gaza in 2005, Hamas took over. In a short time, Christians nearly vanished, Jews nearby faced rockets, and non-compliant Muslims perished under Hamas's radical rule. Here's a question to think about. Have you considered that maybe the violence in Gaza is the result of a rejection of God's clear instruction that the land belongs to His people? With other solutions failed, maybe the answer is not no Jews in Gaza, but more. The Bible mentions the following about King Solomon. For he had dominion over all the regions of this side of the river, from Tifsach even to Gaza, namely over all the kings of this side of the river. And he had peace on every side all around him. Peace is the opposite of what we've seen in Gaza. It's time to think outside the box because going along with the two-state solution has brought disaster to Gaza. Bring peace to Gaza by listening to God instead of listening to men.